Getting ready for a bit of a road trip today, we're going to go and collect some fish that a subscriber of mine has kindly offered to me. So, I've got my poly box ready to go. Um, let's get on the road and not get murdered, hopefully. Yeah, I'm sure I'm not going to get murdered, and I'm definitely not going to murder anyone, but, you know, meeting strangers on the internet and all that, I'm sure there should be some guidelines about that. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so we're now parked up at services. Feeling a bit like I'm on some kind of shady drug deal. Yes, officer. Now I'm here to exchange fish. Um, so I'm just waiting for my contact. I'm about five minutes out, apparently. Uh, and then we'll do the exchange. I don't know why this feels so illicit. Hmm. Back soon. 25 in the tank. Oh. They just keep breathing. Oh, you know what? You just need a bigger tank then. <laughs> yeah. I'll get you to build me one. Yeah. So, say hello to the world. Hi. They're not weird after all. They were no, real, and they, real and they, and they did turn up. They're real human beings. <laughs> and we've got the wee fishies swimming around. Nice. Lego. So I have returned unmurdered from my visit or my collection. <laughs> so you got a sneak peek of what we've got in the box, but let's show you. A little better, all healthy. We've got some black Corydoras. So these are black Schultzi Corydoras. Schultzi, I'm not quite sure how to say that. Uh, sometimes confused with black Venezuelan Corydoras, often by me, but no, they are completely different. These are from a subscriber of mine, Luli Loft. If you're in the Discord server, you'll know that name or joining us on a Friday night live streams. She had some excess and gave them to me. So quick word about that. We do have a Discord server. If you don't know what Discord is, it's basically a newer version of an internet forum or a chat room, things like that. It's a community. It's where the Aquarium Adventures family hangs out. You can ask questions, share pictures, ask for advice, buy and sell, swap things, all kinds of resources on there. It's really useful. Uh, and that's where Lily reached out to me and said, oh, I've got these extra quarries. Would you be interested in them? So get yourselves on there. Uh, check it out. Just share your pictures, especially now because we are in the middle of putting together the Aquarium Adventures calendar for 2023. So submit your pictures, uh, the best pictures of your fish, your tanks, we'll curate them all and put them into some kind of calendar. We did this last year, it was all pictures of my fish, any calendars that we sold, we then donated the money to charity. Um, doing the same thing this year, but I'm asking you to submit your pictures. We've already got a load of great pictures on there, so jump in quick. Uh, you'll find a channel in there called Calendar Picks. Submit your best pictures in there. We'll pick some of the best ones and we'll put them in a calendar and give everyone the chance to buy them and donate to charity. But yes, on the Discord server as well is where you can buy, meat, swap, plants, fish, whatever you want. Um, that's all. There are channels for all those things. And that's how Lily reached out to me and offered me these. Look at this. Quality packaging. This is like a lesson in excellent packaging. Nice square fish bags. Um, and offered me some of these because she was running out of tank space for how prolifically they were breeding. So thank you very much for that. Let's get these into the tank and we can take a bit of a closer look at them. Uh, I know I was joking on the Discord server earlier in the video that it was about going out to meet some internet weirdos like me on the internet in real life. It comes with its own pitfalls, use your common sense. Um, so I, I jokingly put some posts on our uh, Discord server saying if I don't come back by 4 o'clock, Lily has killed me. But you know, let people know where you're going, all that kind of thing. This was completely above board. Um, got to meet Lily and her family, so yeah, all perfectly normal, but you know, Use your common sense, all that good stuff, before you do this kind of thing. So I've been floating these for about 15-20 minutes just to get the temperature matched as much as I can. You might have noticed that there's two in each bag, and something I didn't know until very recently. Uh, Corydoras, when they get stressed, they have the potential to release a toxin. Um, and I think that's fairly recently been observed, and you can find footage of it out there. Where that toxic um, toxin that gets released can actually kill other quarries in, in the bag, so that's why there's only two per bag. So like I say, really good packaging here, nice mix of air to water. I wasn't, I was only, a, what, an hour away or something like that, so they weren't bagged up too long. But nevertheless, I don't want to keep them in those bags any longer than we need to, so we're going to get them out now that they're matched and get them into the tank. I'm putting them into the rainbow tank. 
Don't know if that's going to be a permanent thing, but I just really like this tank and I think they'll look good swimming against the black sand. So we'll put them in there at least for a few weeks just to see how things pan out and then we might move them into a Cory specific tank. And I'm saying Cory just because I know it upsets some people on the internets. I don't know how well you can see that, but it looks like these two have spawned in the tank, in the bag. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It could just be grains of sand, I suppose. Who knows? Exciting though, eh? Alright, I'm going to get these out using my normal plop and drop technique that I'd use for any fish. Just get some out quick, where I take the bag, pour the fish and the water through a net into a bucket. Then I can take the net and put that in the tank and let the fish swim out. Minimum fuss, minimum stress. And away we go. And then just rinse and repeat basically. So they've been in the tank five minutes if that. The rainbow fish have been in checking them out. I don't think there's any aggression, there's more just having a look. I've never known the, the rainbows to be nippy fish as such. Um, but yeah, we'll keep an eye on things, monitor it over time. There's one little tiny baby one in there. You can just see up at this rock here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, well, hopefully you can see, there's a bit of a... They're black, but the, the fins have like an orangey browny tint, which I believe when they're younger, they're more orangey brown. And that's how you can tell that they're not the Venezuelan type, because yeah, they are actually full black. Um, but these ones, as they get older, they're very, they're very much related to the common kind of bronze and ace Corridoras, that same lineage. But I think Corridor is a fantastic little fish. They're great, great community fish. And they get along with almost anything. They're never the troublemakers. If there are problems in a tank, it's not the Corries causing them. They can be little gets to catch and move around. And they just, they baffle me sometimes, what they get up to, the way that they act. Um, <laughs> they're just like not normal, if that makes sense. But really fun to watch. Usually always on the go out hoovering. I've never kept this particular strain before, but I have kept Corys over the years. Um, they're always on the go, always kind of snuffling about. It's always been the perceived wisdom that you keep them on a sand substrate because they have these barbels that you can see at the front, uh, and sharp substrates might cause problems with that. I know we have been documented in the wild living on sharp sand, sharp gravel, uh, absolutely fine, but you know, doesn't hurt and I think especially with these ones a light coloured sand against contrasting against their bodies does really well looks really good they also can breathe air in inverted commas and um, so it's recommended that you leave a little bit of a gap so that they can go up because they'll do that often they'll fly up to the surface take a gulp and back down again and um, I don't take that as scientific gospel they're probably not breathing air I don't know if you saw that one doing it there but in layman's terms, they breathe air every now and again, and they'll go up to the surface and take a gulp. Fairly easy to look after, fairly um, easy requirements. They don't require high temperatures, low temperatures, specific water parameters. They do thrive at quite a wide range of uh, temperatures and water hardness. They do quite well, in my experience. I have to add that as a caveat, but great little fish. And what a busy tank this is turning out to be now. We've got the rainbow fish darting around, we've got the quarries exploring all over the place. Fantastic stuff. I'm turning into that guy that quickly says every tank he ever makes is his favourite. But this one, I've built it from the ground up. All right, I bought the glass from Ikea, but still, I stuck it together. I built the jankiest stand in the world. Um, all this wood and plants have been reclaimed from other tanks. I um, love it, it's so bright and colourful and um, we've got the shimmer of the neons, we've got the the neon rainbow fish, we've got the the movement and constant fussiness of the quarries. It's going to be a great tank. So let me know in the comments what you think, um, what your favourite type of corridor is, um, anything that I've got wrong in the video by all means correct me, you know I love to be corrected. Uh, as always, you can join us on a Friday night, 9pm UK time. We do a live stream every week. And feel free to offer me some fish. I might come and say hello and steal them off you. 
you're not too weird. And we've got the Discord server, so make sure you check out the Discord server. The link's in the description. Go and submit your pictures there for the calendar. We need to get that done within the next couple of weeks. So get moving, get cracking on that. If you like this kind of fishy content, please click that subscribe button. It really helped me out. Uh, we're going to try for 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And with your help, we might get there. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, Luli, fun family, for the fish. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!